All right, doing this test. Fuck, I forgot. Also, if you get this, um, it's Xbox rules. So, pretty much get a. Uh, I'm using my Nintendo, my Nintendo bootleg controller for the Switch as a Xbox controller. So, I kind of get a little bit confused with the buttons. Let me just try Wave Ocean because I love the, this stage. Runs perfectly. No problems at all. A little slight delay. Crap. I need to change my settings. Oh, I gotta start all over? Oh yeah, so basically these gems right here, they're uh, basically um, chaos emeralds, but like, you know, it's the same standardized gems that you get in the shop. Damn, I gotta start all over, because once you get all those gems, yes, you get those weird crazy powers, and the way how you get them basically is cast in all forms, unless you like beat every stage with an S rank, and you have to find the last gem, which is the purple one, uh, not purple one, the, uh, the rainbow one. Like how they show in the intro from um, the project of the game in, uh, back in 06, but they never want to dispute that in the game, I don't know why. But anyway, yo, this game is fucking amazing. I love how the developers really put their heart and soul into this. It's like I'm playing Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 mixed together, so basically you can say this is Sonic Adventure 3. And this part I can just cheese it. As soon as I said that shit. Well, at least I cheesed it. Oh yeah, so keep in mind this part fix the damn camera. This is the best I can do. This part is so fucking hard. With the speed that's enabled. But at least you don't like... Get killed in one shot anymore. With the, with the light speed dash, you get so much boost. Like it's so fun to use but it's so hard to control. Even if you have a low res, uh, I mean, if you have, wow, <laughs> if you have a little, uh, function of, um, this, like, so to say my laptop, you, it can't run as, like, a supercomputer shit, but, like, if I get, like, a whole desktop and play this at high fucking res, it'll look amazing. Damn, I'm mad I got to start all over and find those damn gems. Because usually it has a save progress in this game. But um, I guess I got to understand it more once I uh, shut down the computer, I think. Who knows? I can finally go up here instead of just like taking the other way. Oh, yeah. They, um, they add more scrap scrap uh, voice logs from the game and put them onto this demo but it's pretty fucking sick
just made it. Mad I really gotta start all over. So more of this the options. Uh what was it? Cause you can nah that's wrong one. Video settings, what was it? Game inverted BNG Jiggle Bones. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Character sway, being uh, background video, camera line. Oh yeah, you can cut off the voice from the the cutscenes. Game dialogue, no, I'm not here for that. Video settings are already. Wait, what if I changed it? Texture quality. Draw distance? Nah, fuck that. I don't want to fuck with anything. If you go to extra and game room. So, I don't know what TGS means. I'm trying to like decode onto. Oh, wait, no, I'm dumbass. It says it right there. It says enables animations seen in the in the Tokyo Game Show demo. Uh, I can't see the size, so I think I hit yes. Camera type's okay. The homing, the homing attack. Uh, enable a lock on, um, yeah, like a lock on uh, recoil to the homing attack. The spin effect, which is the jump. Let's see, what's this? this the jump, it can switch over to uh, Sonic Adventure 1. Uh, set the type of jump dash. I can think I can do the same thing for this curve. Gym shoes type. Wait, okay, so original type gym shoes use in the original game or custom type alternate variations that Sonic can then oh you can just pretty much change the shoes uh, kind of like the the gym shoe type upgrade models toggle upgrade models that characters wear not understanding that uh, UI customization Customize the gameplay UI with different options. Don't know. But what I got for right now is good. So I'm gonna redo uh I'm gonna redo Wave Ocean. Oh yeah, that's another thing. They finish they they're almost done with like oh well they're full on done with Sonic stuff, but they're not finished with the bosses. Shadows up next. Silver is um, underway, but Silver works way different than he did before, so pretty much now it's just Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Silver when you go to uh, Kingdom Valley. Alright, so right now I'm just going to be fucking around. I always can't get over there. See that? Oh yeah, the little details that they did in this, like, think of it as uh, Sonic Adventure 2, where you can do a somersault, but this is pretty much the kick version of uh, this game. And usually when I do the somersault in Sonic Adventure 2, I can do that and then do a jump with it and do a little trick they enabled that in this one and it's pretty fucking cool the running animation is my favorite detail like it looks so good when Sonic's like running fast faster than he was in the game it's so mobile like I feel free. A little bit too free. The spin dash works exactly like uh, Sonic Adventure 1. Well, yeah, just the original Sonic Adventure. Whew. This seems to get a little buggy with the camera angles, but... 
I think that's me just going crazy and the way how the game is. Oh yeah, what Sonic just said about with the uh, the Vulcan cannon, the Vulcan cannon fire, like how they do some chip damage onto your uh, your ring count. Like so to say, yeah, if I get shot, that's just one ring depleted. Now it just like does it into a better animation, and once you get hit, it doesn't start off as um twenty rings like into a whole circle like it does a good animation shot of uh the rings being all bunched not all bunched up together in a circle but like all scattered around like how a normal sonic game would be the best part about this is uh with the ring logic if you go to um one of the lava stages you uh you start to deplete on rings if you enter the lava like it will just start counting down it won't do much effect for damage but like it's a great it's a really fucking unique feature I love in this damn game too I keep fucking up on that I'm getting really like some adventure callbacks with these damn ball animations Oh yeah, and the version of this uh this game is pretty much more of like uh, this is the third version, so they did some updates Darn, recently. Like they just did this like a week ago. See, see, you don't you don't uh fucking fly off the handle. They give you a running start once you get hit again. No. Well, I had no rings. Yeah, I was actually shooting for an S rank. But I'm just I just got on so I'm warming up. So fucking fast. Like this is how a Sonic game should feel. See? And didn't get hit. Oh well I did I did get hit, but like I didn't get hit brutally. So the physics in this game really makes sense. Almost. Like, things get crazy when Sonic goes to Mach 2. Shit. Not my best run, but it's all right. Oh, the, yeah, the Japanese an animation change when he uh, f finished the, the the stage. Usually he turns his back, but now he's like face forward. I love that. I can show you one more thing, and I'll do one more stage. And it's uh, Crisis City. It's this little cutscene with Sonic and Shadow that they didn't add in the game. Don't be late. You're talking to me. Like I love that. So much de like so much detail in the characters. Oh yeah. For this, like if you're on a board. Usually you have hard you have a hard time to uh, control it. Damn, I still can't deal with it with the graphics. You have a hard time. Uh, oh shit. You'll have a hard time controlling it, but they gave you a little function where you can you can uh, push yourself. Like if you would stay stay in place and have a hard time moving around, you can. Well, if I can think of an Xbox. Uh, it's like you're hitting the B button, I think. Damn, I keep fucking up. I actually want to try again. 
But yeah, you can give yourself a little push instead of just like fucking around trying to get more momentum. But they'll just enable the momentum into one little button. Shit. More uses of the tricks. I uh, see, see, just like that. Give you a little, give you momentum instead of just like finding it. This would be a breeze if my, uh, if I like had a desktop, but my laptop can't uh, handle that much of a shit. And I don't want to overload it. I need some rings. <gasps> don't. Don't. <laughs> I swear to God, I wasn't this bad last night. Oh yeah, white Acropolis is that's a little that's a little uh It's cool if you go to White Acropolis, but like it's annoying when it gets to the camera change when the giant snowball chases you. So I had to get used to it for a bit. It was nerve wracking at first, but you'll be alright if you get this game. Like I consider if you wanna if you wanna play it into a better version like this. But it's just like, it's so much to take in. Things that you get used to into the old 06, it will just like still linger into your head. It still lingers into my head too, because like, oh yeah, that's another thing that I meant to say with uh, the 06 controls, like the old 06 controls. Um, you see that? The bounce? Usually that's the same. That's the same, um, yeah, oh, shit, fucking lag. Oh, yeah, you can move rail to rail, too. That's that's another cool feature. But, like, uh, yeah, with the bounce feature, back in the, the old 06, it mixes in with uh, the light speed dash. And if you try to go to a trail of rings, the fucking light speed dash won't fucking go into a activation state. But it'll activate the damn bounce, which is annoying. They changed that up into the top upper button, the Y button for the Xbox. Oof. You also got to be careful when you go to a home and attack. And the home and attack functionality that they did before, it's really good. Let me find that gem. You get to have more control. It just basically feels like Sonic Adventure. The reason why I'm going down here, there's a gem over here. Oh shit. It's like down over here. basically uh, same powers that you had before shit but this um what they did for this I, I think it took like a year or two to fix some functionalities like toying with the game I don't even know how long I was recording. More faster movements with the homing attack. So it won't go fucking willy nilly. It usually does in this, but like. You can't just go crazy, home and attack, and out the blue. In Christ the City, usually you wouldn't even go onto this damn lamppost. Now you can swing from it. It's 
Galaxy. Like, I never knew that. I never knew that was a functionality in the game. Usually gotta find your footing. Because usually... This game runs so perfect and fast. Oh yeah, the loading screen, that's obviously. See? See? Like, if I go crazy with the homing attacks, you'll just fuck up yourself. The spin jump is enabling to this, like how you do it on uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Like how I do my normal speed runs. But it doesn't work effectively. Unless you have like those that blue gem with the shoes, like the uh, the speed speedy gem. This part is hard for me. Like it's so fast from it's so fast. I can't really move from side to side. I can do it. I can do it, but like I choose not to because I keep fucking up myself. And the camera angle. If you go for that, you definitely gotta hit the back button if it goes front for Sonic. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, 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 see, see? And you can't, that's another thing, you can't, you can't go fucking slow. Cause the tornado can actually get you. I guess I can show it from right there, but yeah, that's how it is.